And joining me in studio, Jerusalem Post defense correspondent Anna Arenheim. Anna, great to have you with us. Thank you. So is there substance to the Palestinian, uh, the Palestinian comments that they voided security cooperation with Israel when we're seeing a report like this? I think that definitely there is some substance on the ground to show that it's not like it used to be. Uh, Palestinian security forces and the Israeli security forces used to work very well together, uh, be it in intelligence, be it in thwarting attacks against IDF soldiers like we saw in this report. Um, but there is a feeling on the ground that it's not like it used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, the communication is not there. And there are even reports that the Palestinian Authority has said anyone who cooperates with Israel, anyone who talks to Israeli security forces mm -hmm. will be sent to prison for six months. And there's a lot of talk about perhaps the fallout should Israel move forward with a unilateral move to ex extend its sovereignty over parts of Judea and Samaria, not only about Palestinian resistance, but we're also already seeing pushback from uh, extreme far-right settlers. Could there be, as people are saying, a third intifada? What kind of security threats could we see if Israel moves forward with this? We can definitely see a whole a wide range of threats from more stonings, more stabbing attacks, car ramming attacks, uh, pipe bombs being thrown or planted uh, shooting attacks, which we haven't seen in a while, but they're a very big threat. The amount of guns that are going around in the West Bank is, is unreal. Mm -hmm. um, and we can also see uh, bombings, like mm -hmm. we saw in August of last year, which killed uh, Rina Schnerb. And that's something that people are really worried about because that has not been a main threat to Israelis in recent years, but that's something that definitely can happen. And you also have to take into account Hamas and the other terror groups in, in, in the West Bank that will take advantage of the situation mm -hmm and try to attack Israelis. So it's not only, of course, a dangerous move to move forward with uh, the plans to uh, expand its sovereignty in and of itself, but even, we haven't, of course, seen the, the maps that's, of course, still underway, but how do you pull this off militarily, having 60% having uh, of Judea and Samaria for the Palestinians, 30%, even 3%, how does this work? How do you protect the people there? Well, it's definitely going to be a, a completely different uh, than what we see now. The, once we have annexation, the Israeli army won't be able to, to have the freedom of range that they've had now. Um, you might have Magav, uh, Israeli border police, in there instead. But are police, border police really going to be going in and, and taking uh, the security of the people like mm -hmm. the IDF has done in the past? Mm -hmm. Probably not. So it's going to be very complicated. All right. Just very briefly as well, we know Benny Gantz could be uh, set to, to go to Jordan. How significant is this? Huge, huge deal. First of all, his first uh, trip abroad as a defense minister. Uh, second, Jordan is one of our closest allies. We have our longest border on the border with Jordan. Mm -hmm. It provides Israel with strategic depth. And people say that the border uh, with Jordan isn't really the Jordan Valley, but Iraq, mm -hmm. the Iraqi border, mm -hmm. because of the great cooperation that uh, Israel security and defense establishment has with the Jordanians. Mm -hmm. Now, should those ties fall, and should Israel follow through on its plans, the Jordanian street, which is already very anti-Israel, can rise up and will, be, will cause Jordan to, to become unstable, which is something that Israel can't risk having. So Gantz is probably going there to, to get a good feeling of what's really happening. Is Abdullah really going to follow through on his threats? Mm -hmm. Or is it going to be different as well? And very briefly before you go, I know you spent the day yesterday in various settlements in Judea and Samaria. What kind of insight can you give us? Complicated. I went, I went from speaking to, to very right-wing settlers to, you know, the, the everyday, let's just, you know, it, it's just a great life here. It's easy, but very concerning. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone tells me no one knows what's going to happen. Certainly. There's a lot of uncertainty around this. But Anna, we know that your article, of course, will be out on Friday on the J-Post if our viewers want to, to look into that a, a deeper and further. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.